Richard from EnvisionSelfHealing.com, and this is my second blog. Uh, in this blog, I'm going to be talking about my uh, program for dealing with my presbyopia. Uh, I have uh, presbyopia, myopia, astigmatism, and the, of course the most uh, extreme thing is my optic atrophy that I was born with. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to be dealing with the presbyopia first. Because, uh, for one thing, I'm getting tired of using magnification to read my iPhone. Oh, I'm also getting tired of using this magnifier to read things with. Um, because of the optic atrophy, I have to use a more powerful magnification to deal with my presbyopia. Uh, most people, it's called old age farsightedness. It's not really farsightedness. But, um, most people can go to the drugstore and buy reading glasses, but with my optic atrophy, uh, it, it makes my presbyopia worse, so I have to use a higher magnification, like this 5 power magnifier. So I'd like to stop using that, I'd like to stop using the, the magnification function on my iPhone. Uh, those are my goals for, for dealing with my presbyopia. But it's part of an overall vision improvement program that I'm undertaking now, with the end goal of being able to drive somewhere maybe a year from now. So. Uh, presbyopia is, uh, number one, is a stiffening of the lens. So here's the lens. It's, there's, it's behind the cornea and the pupil, then the lens is here. The lens has a muscle, a ring of muscle around it, called the ciliary muscles or ciliary body. Um, in this picture, the lens is flat, the muscle is relaxed. It's looking, this eye is looking at a distant object. And the ob with the lens flat, the distant object, the light rays come back, focus on the fovea sharply, um, and you get a clear image. When you look at a close object, these muscles around the lens contract, the lens bows out, and this close object is focused on the fovea. That's how you focus things with your eyes. So in presbyopia, this lens become stiff with age, could be also lifestyle and misuse, it's, it's, that's, that, that's the debate we would like to start. Um, the muscles that squeeze the lens become weak, that's the second factor. Uh, a third factor is these muscles here that are called extraocular muscles because they're outside of the eyeball, there's four, four muscles that turn the eye and up, down, left, right, and then two oblique muscles that turn the eye in more diagonal directions. So in presbyopia, there's a weakening of this, what's called the medial, re medial rectus muscle here on the inside of the eye. So it's on the nose, nasal side of the eye. So it's the muscle that turns your eye in to read, to focuses them both on one, one thing. Um, so the last factor is the, uh, so actually, so this is a weakening, the presbyopia has a weakening of this muscle, so your eyes no longer want to do that so readily. And actually what happened with me and a lot of people is, once the, they don't want to f fixate on one point together, fuse, that the brain stops using one eye for reading. And so for me, I'm reading mainly with my right eye, because the eyes no longer want to do this. So for me, I need to strengthen this convergence muscle. Uh, the final factor is the pupil. And to read well, you need to have a small pupil. That's why more light is better for reading, because it shrinks down your pupil. The reason this is true is that a smaller pupil creates a sharper image on the retina. So if you're reading in dim light, your pupil is enlarged. It's harder to get a sharper image. That's one of the reasons it's hard to read in dim light. Um, but the other factor here is if you retard the use of your pupil by wearing sunglasses or being inside all the time, you no longer you stop getting you stop having the ability to create that small pupil that that uh, that would create the sharp image. So that's why our program has sunning in it to create a smaller pupil. It has near far, so you're looking at near objects and then far objects and back and forth, to exercise the muscle around the lens and to squeeze the lens and make it more flexible. So you're, you're gaining strength in the ciliary muscles, you're flexing the lens. 
and it has um, the uh, convergence, what's called the presbyopia charts, and we use these uh, muscles, we strengthen those muscles by deliberately crossing, overcrossing our eyes actually, or overconverging our eyes. Uh, that's the progress. So we strengthen these muscles, we strengthen these muscles around the lens, we make the lens more flexible, and we strengthen and gain back the ability to make a small pupil. All of those go into reading. It's kind of a complex thing. Uh, well, and then there's the brain, too. Okay, so that's going to be my program. I'm going to be doing sunning. I'm going to be doing the near-far for these muscles. Uh, I'm going to be doing the presbyopia charts to, to do that to uh, strengthen the convergence muscles. Uh, the, the sort of com complicated fact about this, I've explained it as simply as I can, but the other thing that happens when you use these muscles, the convergence muscles, your brain automatically uses these muscles. Uh, they're kind of connected together. The, so, Convergence leads to what's called accommodation, which is squeezing that, well, accommodation is more than that, but leads to the contraction of the ciliary body. So this contraction leads to this contraction, just sort of as a reflex. So by over-converging on those presbyopia charts, we're actually engaging this muscle, the ciliary body as well, and flexing the lens. So that's the science behind the program. And um, we also have palming in that program and, and lots of head rotations and shoulder rotations as a way of gaining just health to the whole eye, to the whole visual system. Um, and that's the program. So I'll be following this program. I'm going to be tweeting about it on uh, Richard Miller EN on my Twitter account. And my, check out the Facebook page, my Facebook page too. And see how I progress and you can join me on this program. and. Maybe we'll all get rid of our presbyopia in, say, a month or two. So try it out. See for yourself.